hi there, my name's Matthew and I am the youth and family worker for Camperdown and Lockheed Ministry in Dundee. And it is a great pleasure to welcome you to our Bags of Discovery Holiday Club this week called Bags of Love. Now each day you are going to have a special card that you look at and that will help you through what our activities are for that day. There's five cards from Monday to Friday and each day will come with a video on our YouTube and Facebook page. But for today, I want you to look at day one. So this is day one. You can see it says at the top. It is our, one of our yellow cards. And what it's asking is, if we look at question two, imagine you have to leave where you stay and go and live somewhere completely different. What kind of things would you take with you? What would be the most important things that you would take? And I want you to have a think about that. And maybe you could gather some of those important things and take a photo and get whoever you live with to send it to Messy Church. And we can share some of those photos around and see if people think the same or think different about their things that they would take with them. This week we're going to hear about the story of Ruth. And in your pack you should have got a book called the Book of Ruth. And each day we are going to hear a little bit about that. She'll tell us about what she was thinking and feeling as lots of strange and unsettling things happened to her. Today, Ruth is telling us how she is getting on as they come near to the end of their journey to Bethlehem. So let's listen and see what Ruth has to say to us today. We are nearly there. It's been a long walk. We've been walking for a whole week. I'm very tired and I'm scared. I'm nearly in a new country that's to be my new home. I'm so glad I'm with Naomi though. She's my mum now. The rest of our family have all died. We have cried so much. It's been so difficult. But we are our own wee family now. And I know God is looking after our family. If it hadn't been for Naomi, I would never have known God. She has shown me that God is with us no matter what happens, which is good because most of the time just now I have no idea what is happening. Naomi and I are sticking together. Where she goes, I am going and her God is my God. Let's see where God leads us next. Now each day we are going to have some sort of activity and today is a game that you can play with your family. This game is called Would You Rather? And the rules are really simple. I'm going to give you two options and you have to pick one or the other. You can't say neither and you can't say both. So here's our first one just to get you started. Would you rather have three feet or three hands? Would you rather have three feet or three hands? Now I think me personally, I'd rather three hands because it means that I can get a bit more done. But it depends, is that third hand going to be just popping out your wrist, or are you going to have a completely third arm? There's lots of things that you can ask when you do this. So for the next few, maybe you want to pause the video, and you can discuss it with your family, but I'm just going to rattle through these quite quickly, and you can have a chance to pause and chat with your family, and maybe send us some of your answers, and we can see what everyone else is thinking. So our next one, would you rather be only able to whisper or only able to shout? Two very opposite things, what would you rather do? Our next one, would you rather stop time or travel in time? Now I think with everything that's going on just now, no one would want to stop time just now. But you might want to travel to a different time. Would you rather read a book... Or watch a film. Now, quite a lot of people would choose one or the other here quite easily. But maybe you enjoy both. I'd be interested to hear what you think. Now, would you rather camp in a tent at the beach? Or camp in a tent up a mountain? What would you rather do? Now here's some more ones to do with the Bible. You might not know these Bible stories, but you might know some. So let's see if you can decide what you would do in these. 
Would you rather have been in the stable when Jesus was born? Or would you rather have been in the tomb when he rose again? Which one would you rather have seen? Now for Jesus performed a lot of miracles. And here's one here. Or two I should say. Having been, would you rather have been in the crowd when Jesus fed the 5,000? Or would you rather have been in the boat when he calmed the storm? Which one would you rather have been at? And here's our last question. Would you rather have stayed in your country of Moab or gone with Naomi to Bethlehem? In today's story, Ruth had a very important would you rather question that she was facing. Was she going to stay where she had always lived or go with Naomi to a different country and worship her God? It was a big decision. Deciding to fall on God is a big decision. I want you to think about if you've decided to follow God. And if you had to leave anything behind to do that, maybe you used to do some bad things and you decided to follow God and that made you a better person. Maybe you could ask me or you could ask Rachel next time you see us why we decided to follow God and if we had to change anything. Or maybe ask any people you know that go to church why they decided to follow God. But before we finish for today, let's just say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you that Ruth decided that being with Naomi and God were the most important things. Help us to think about our lives and to decide what the most important things in our lives are too. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed this first day of Bags of Love. We have lots more planned this week and I hope that you'll join us for the rest of our videos and we'll see you then.